Hi, this is Amy from the Alti store. We are here at the Alti's eighth annual conference and we're here again with Ryan from Midnight Solar. Hola, mi nombre es Blanca. Estamos acá con Brian en la octava conferencia solar de Alti store y vamos a hablar un poco acerca de un nuevo dispositivo que vamos a ofrecer en Puerto Rico. So, um, welcome, and I see we are going to be talking about Midnight's newest rapid shutdown system, the little shut down, shut off box, or little SOB. Yeah, thank you, Amy and Blanca. Yeah, Midnight Solar has the rapid shutdown device. This is the receiver that goes on the array or on the module. There's a transmitter that goes with this, and we'll have a picture down here to show that. Uh, Basically what this does is this listens for a, a keep alive signal over the PV wires. So there's no additional wiring needed to install it. Um, it's basically plug and play. If you're familiar with an optimizer or something, it plugs in very similar to that. So there's two different components you're saying. So this is up at the array and what what is the other unit, the transmitter, doing? Yeah, so good question. The the Receiver goes at the array, uh, one per string for 2014 compliance, one per module for 2017 compliance. The transmitter goes down at the ground, typically in the wiring compartment of a grid tie inverter, mm -hmm. and it, it has a donut on the end of it, and your PV plus wire goes through the donut, and that will inject the PLC signal onto the DC line. It's basically like a radio transmitter. If you've listened to the radio in your car, there's a radio wave that comes to your antenna. We're injecting it right on the wire, and the receivers are listening for that, and this, that's not really something new. PLC has been done for a long time. The industry as a whole is working towards something we call a sunspec standard for that. And eventually we'll get to the point where all devices will speak the same language. So somebody's inverter can talk to my receiver or my transmitter can talk to somebody else's receiver. So the transmitter will be connected basically to the AC from the inverter. So it, it will detect when the grid goes out, it will automatically go out and stop sending the heartbeat and so then this receiver will not get the heartbeat and will shut everything down, correct? Yeah, that, that is correct. So there's a couple transmitters, there's an AC and a DC transmitter because some grid tie inverters have a 12 volt rail in them that we can attach to. But essentially that is the goal, right? We put the transmitter inside the wiring compartment of the inverter, we connect it to the inverter's power source, either AC or DC, so that when you when the grid fails or you shut off the inverter disconnect, the transmitter is going to quit transmitting, and that, that is important to point out is that you mentioned the, the heartbeat signal or the keep alive signal. That's exactly what it is. If this device doesn't hear that signal for about 10 seconds, it will shut off. It will assume that it's supposed to go into rapid shutdown. So it's like it is a keep alive signal, so everything is fail safe. So, what about compatibility? What, what equipment does this work with? Yeah, good question. So right now as it sets, it was designed to work with grid tie inverters predominantly because that's the you know bulk of the market. It works with every grid tie inverter we've tested. Some grid tie inverters do have PV capacitors that do not bleed down and we do have a bleed down box that will solve that if needed. Uh, it works with various charge controllers, um, but at the moment I don't have a list with me, so if you contact us at midnight or the LT store, we can get you an up-to-date list on current charge controllers we've verified it works with. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much, and thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If so, give us a like and a share, and be sure to go to our website at altistore.com, where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.